Audrey from First Updates Now here at the Detroit Championship with 2791 Shaker Robotics here to talk about their awesome robot. So first of all, we've got this thing right in front of us. Can you tell us a little bit more about some of your mechanical systems on the robot, like the ramps and the intake collector? Yeah, of course. Uh, so uh, our ramps have been a huge hit over at our regionals, uh, and they really helped us seed first. Uh, so uh, our ramps are based on a four-bar design. Uh, at the end of the match, we fire up this piston up here, and uh, the ramps fall down due to gravity. Uh, once they drop down onto the uh, platform of the scale, the zorbethane on the bottom helps us keep those in, uh, in lock so when a robot gets on, they don't kind of push us back and forth. Uh, so we front load, so the robot drives on from the front. Once they're on the ramps, we uh, fire the PTO on our drivetrain gearbox, uh, which allows us to really utilize the power of our drivetrain to raise up the ramps. We pull those up from this winch right here. That's 3D printed inside of our uh, drivetrain. So we winch that up, and it helps raise the ramps. Uh, and specifically, one really cool thing about this is uh, the way we overcome the mechanical advantage that's working against us from pulling in this direction and raising up is uh, this kicker at the bottom. So when we pull on the, uh, the sh uh, ramp rope right here to tow it up, we fire this uh, kicker right here, which actually uh, pushes down on the ramps and gives us actually straight down, oops, sorry, straight down uh, force. So it allows us to raise the ramps up about four inches before we start pulling them over, uh, and that allows us to overcome the mechanical advantage and raise up a robot. Um, the other really cool thing about a robot would be the uh, the intake. Uh, so we redesigned that for champs, and we've got these uh, uh, outward facing wheels that are actually floppy, so you can kind of see. Uh, those were inspired by uh, 33's intake that they brought to their original regional, which is now redesigned, kind of funny. Um, but this works really awesome because it allows us to kind of uh, guide a cube into the intake, uh, and that's what allows us to get into our uh, two-cube auto, because we can really pick up that cube, whether we're kind of offset left or right, because we can guide it in. Um, and now, we know that 2791 isn't really all about their uh, technical things. They've got a lot of really cool autonomous things going on. So tell me just one thing, one cool thing about your autonomous routine. Yeah, so originally we used a PID, and that worked really well for us. But we decided to move on to something better, and we looked into many different path generating libraries. We programmed primarily in Java. And uh, the one we settled one was uh, a pad generator made by Team 340 that uses base A curves. And essentially, the way we create a path for autonomous is we use their online web app to create a base A curve using uh, an endpo endpoints and midpoints. And then we uh, paste the code generated by that app web app into the robot code. All right, well, that's pretty cool. Um, so you're ranked about the middle of the division. Uh, best of luck to you tomorrow. and. Good luck playing in eliminations.